Hello everyone, this is Tupluxa502 with another 0k game for you guys. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a 3 versus 3 here. With one team um, being composed of a highly skilled player. Flackhead right here. Um, I don't know how I pronounce his name. Um, and then you know, with two um, rather unexperienced players, but I've seen them play before, they're actually pretty good. Um, versus a team of all around fairly skilled players, you know, kind of in the mid range there. Wait for everyone to load in here. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see how this plays out here. Okay, it seems like this guy here, he wants to go ahead and try to take the middle. Um, <coughs> with uh, this team over here, I'm sure they have a plan, but they're obviously not um, verbalizing it right now. I don't see anything in the chat or anything like that. Okay, this guy over here getting out a few glaives. Looks like he's got a rector there in the queue as well. This guy, um, yep, getting out a welder. Okay, all good, all good. Okay, this guy, he seems to be moving straight for the middle with his commander. Okay, it seems like he already has a bandit there, so yeah, that's good, that's good. We'll see. We'll see if this works out for him. This could be good. Maybe either it's going to make him or break him. Basically, if he can take the middle and hold it, he will win. But uh, it's also going to um, give away what his strategy is very quickly. So if they respond to that and go ahead and take out this position, then yeah, that could very definitely break him. Um, Oh yes, we got this guy over here playing air. Looks like these uh, Swifts, they're going at, they're going at this uh, Kadashi or how, however you pronounce it there. Um, quite a bit of action actually going on right now. Not too much, nothing major, but you know. You can definitely see what's happening here. This team, yeah, they're they're um this guy's he's definitely playing more defensively. Which in zero K is yeah, most certainly a risk. It's hard to play defensive and win in zero K, so we'll see how that turns out for him. <laughs> okay. Um Putting a lotus over here. Got a few, got a few Kadashis. Looks like he's yeah, he had the one, but he's added another to it. Let's see what he's doing with his factory. Making uh, three more Kadashis there. Making a uh, scythe over here. Let's see what he plans to do with that. Okay, I don't think I can really call this uh, yet. I'm not going to make any predictions on who's going to win this just yet. Not quite enough has happened. <laughs> Though seeing this, yes, this, this, yes. This is definitely interesting. Let's get rid of this. I want to see how much time it has left. Okay, cool. He managed to drive that thing off, so he's gonna get the stinger online, and that is, yeah, that might spell doom right there. Yes, I yes, it's, it's just one stinger, but yes, don't underestimate the stinger.
Okay, it looks like he's looks like the metal extractor got destroyed there somehow. I didn't catch that. He's go he's rebuilding it there. Okay. We got um Glaive over here. It has died. Yep, getting itself killed. Okay, it looks like we got the scythe moving in here. We'll see what it tries to do. Okay, he's attacking a defender with it. Yet. Okay. And he's yeah, I don't he's not actually watching that thing right now. Yeah, and a bandit just discovered it. Okay, cool. Looks yeah, he's he's watching it now. Yep, but they're also watching it and it died. Okay, this right here, this looks pretty threatening. If he will go ahead and take that up this way. He could definitely do a lot with that there. Yeah, I don't know if the other spectators can see what I draw there, but, you know. Let's see what they think here. Yeah, he is kind of lucky. Wait, what is he talking about here? Bannerock. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he is lucky. Yeah, yeah, he definitely is lucky because instead of attacking with this, he's making defenses. Right. Yeah, this is this is one of the new players here. So, I mean, that's that's definitely understandable there. Ah, looks like we got a Reaper here attacking the center. Though it's, yeah. Yep, don't... Don't underestimate the Stinger. <laughs> yeah, I really gave that Reaper a run for its money. Okay, we got a few more Kadashis moving in here. Three more to this little force that makes um, eight now. Seven, eight, nine. Nine Kadashis there. He really needs to move those in. He does. Okay, and we have uh, Jerrod up here. Or Jared, I guess. Um, playing air. Yeah, um, he should probably expand a little bit more, but generally he's he's doing a pretty good job with the air. He should probably be attacking a little bit more, but I haven't really seen a big need for a airstrike yet. Yeah, because yeah, they're they're putting up any aircraft over here. Yeah, he's he's putting up some. Yeah, he already has another razor over here, so two razors there. Yeah, so it wouldn't do him any good to actually just try to go in and just do a few attacks. Oh, what's this, though? Okay, it looks like he's going in for an attack. Definitely a smart move there, making use of the bombers. Took out a Stardust. Not exactly sure. <laughs> How much of a threat that Stardust actually posed, but okay. No man's land soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't really know if I follow him there. This seems like this is gonna stay around for quite a while. Um, let's see. He's got six bombers and five swifts. And a half constructed vamp floating in the middle of the air, which is quite hilarious actually. Oh well, they're okay, they're called hawks now. Yeah, that's quite hilarious though. Look at it. It's glorious. It's like, yep, I can fly. 
I can definitely fly. I'll get there eventually. Yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Um, Let's see. We got the Kadachis over here. Let's see. They might go ahead and make a move. Okay, Reaper coming back in. This time supported by the commander, but yeah, very quickly being drove off by two stingers and a stardust. Again, supported by a commander on this side as well. Okay, we got a whole bunch of bandits here. Whole bunch of bandits. And I'm assuming he's just using this for defensive purposes, but he could really wreak some serious havoc on his base if he uh, sent these in the correct direction. If he kind of sent them around this way. Ah, what's this? A few rogues? Okay, okay, rogues. Yeah, definitely good against the Reapers there. What's he saying? Yeah, yeah, Razor. Yeah, he's discovered that, uh... Yeah, he's pointing out that he has any aircraft over here, so he can't really do any more bombing raids. What, what, he, what, um... Jared, or... Jerod, however you pronounce his name, is um, what he should be doing here is bombing the center position. Yeah, he should be bombing the center here, taking out this Stinger, Commander, Stardust, or Stinger. That way, um, it will give this guy here a chance to really move in. I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name. I'm too tired right now. Um, But uh, actually, he is, um, he's a little bit late on that, though, because it wouldn't really matter if he took out the defenses. There's rogues and bandits and everything else all over the place now, too. Yeah, I got a few, uh, just kind of got a few defenders over here. Those would be hard to deal with with bombers because, you know, obviously, multiple targets is going to require multiple bombs, multiple bombers, you know. He doesn't have any area of effect weaponry here, so... Okay, what's this? It seems like... Seems like he's reading my mind. It seems like he is going for an attack on the center here. Alright, that was good. Looks like he's gonna go in, try to take out... Take out the stinger, yep. See if he can get... Nope, okay. Oh, let's see if he can still get it. Okay, I'm assuming that one dropped a bomb. No, it doesn't look like it doesn't look like it uh did drop a bomb there. I'm sure what the deal with that one is. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I'll just fly over here and like completely not attack everything over here. Alright, here we go, another Reaper coming in. Well, you know, the same Reaper actually. Yep, it's getting uh, chewed up there nicely by the defenses and probably soon the bandits. This Kadachi is still just hanging out over there, having the good life. Okay, what's this? We have an Annihilator. Okay, if we can go ahead and get um second fusion reactor on here, that's definitely going to add an interesting dynamic. Okay, we also got a trimmer going here. Very nice. Probably not the tactic I would have pulled in this situation, but it seems to be working pretty well. Looks like he's making a razor there. Yeah, if anything, it's definitely wearing out the shield. Which is going, yeah, these things are now collectively draining about 22 energy a second because um, they're they're constantly trying to recharge. When shields have to recharge, they spend more metal, I mean, uh, more energy than if they're just idling. So, yeah, that, that's definitely eating away his resources there. If anything else, it does seem to be doing a little bit of damage there, yeah. Yeah, Stinger's taking quite a bit. Stardust, that Stinger's taking some damage. This one's unscathed. Um, wait, what do we got going on here? Okay. Interesting. 
Looks like he finally made a move with those Kadachis. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what happened here. Okay. Actually, yeah, I think I know what happened there. I was too, I was too busy yammering about the trimmer to uh, notice it, but I think he took these bandits here. He's made some more bandits by now, but he took all those bandits that he had, and he moved them up, and he went ahead and took out the air player there, and the Kadachis, they went over here, and they attacked. Ah, yes. Yes, they're finally realizing it. They're realizing that this flank is weak. Yeah, I can almost bet money that this team, uh... Team 2 is going to win now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got some Banshees in here. Yeah, they're serious. <laughs> Bring in the Banshees. Yeah, heavy guns. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy guns. Oh, man. Probably a Black Dawn would have been better in this situation, but, you know, Banshees, they, they are faster, so they definitely got an edge there. Let's see. Yep, all the Ravens have used their bombs. They have nowhere to reload anymore. Yeah, he's pretty much just tearing it up. Yeah, I can almost bet money. Definitely that this um, Team 2 is going to win here. Yeah, he did get he did manage to get the annihilator online, but it's not shooting at anything. <laughs> so, uh yeah. I'm assuming that was purely a defensive measure and yeah, that that was a defensive measure, not an offensive measure there of the annihilator. I was thinking it could have kind of been like a uh an offensive measure measure because you know fortification over here you could have shot at, but I mean shut you know shot at it but for some reason the um the annihilator doesn't really seem to be interested in the units over here okay it shot at something over here yeah probably shooting at the planes and this position has also gotten completely wasted too i tell you what there's a lot to keep up with in this game cuz i mean you had that attack going on over here on this flank and then, um, I'm assuming this probably died because of the trimmer. Maybe the Annihilator. You know? He also, um, that Reaper's dead. Well, okay, never mind, it's there. It's right there. Um, yeah, he could have used the Reaper, but... Most likely... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say that he moved in, um... That he, yeah, he used the trimmer and, yeah, the pillagers. The pillagers here, yeah, that's what did it. Yeah. Yeah, let's see how much longer these guys can really hold out, because, I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know how long these guys are going to be able to hold out. Well, okay, this is pretty good. This is a pretty good attempt right here. Let's see what happens with this. Okay, looks like we got some bombers coming in. Oh, that had to hurt. Oh man. Oh, that that was a good hit. Yep, making some more bandits. Kind of just try try to do the best he can here to attack. I mean, he's finally realized that he's going to have to attack because uh, this thing right here, this just isn't cutting it for him. Definitely an effective position, and they're not going to be able to break this, but they don't really need to either, so. Um, okay, looks like uh, this guy over here, Banner Rocks, he's got a He's making a few more Reapers, and he's already got one out. It's wreaking havoc. But it just died. <laughs> oh, cool. Missile silo. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I don't really know if I agree with him there. He says that they don't need it. I don't know. The missile silo, it's generally just a really, really effective weapon. I mean, I... I... I mean, the missile silo, it's... It's definitely one of my favorite units in the entire game. It's probably like my second favorite unit in 0k. Ooh, Nice! Now you see, this... This is actually a heavy gun. Oh yes. This thing's gonna wreak some havoc. This thing's gonna mess up some face. Again, made by, um, one of the fairly new players here. Let's see, what is he actually spending his resources on? His resources... Wait, no, that's not his resources, my bad. Yeah, that's that's his resources, yeah. It's somebody's resources, but, yeah. I can't really... Well, okay, there we go. That did it. Okay, so that's his resources. Let's check uh let's check this guy's here. Let's see looking what is this guy looking like? Okay. Yeah, he's got a very strong economy, especially for a new player. They all have really strong economies actually. This is a very good team. These guys have more I'd say that uh, these two players really have more skill than they appear to because, uh, you know, they're both rank 0 to 10. So, I mean, you wouldn't figure they'd be all that great, but they got, they got quite a bit of skill. Skill set for team games is different from a uh, just a one-on-one. -on -one. It's easier to pick up the skill set for team games, though. Personally, I still suck at them, but, you know. Some people pick it up pretty good. Okay, now this catapult, it's, uh, yeah. Hey there, buddy. You gonna shoot something? Hey. What's going on? I'm hoping he'll shoot something. I really like to see these things fire. Let's see, um, Trimmer's still going at it over here. Yep. Um, yeah, he's just attacking the ground. Yeah, he doesn't really have a target in mind. Yep, there goes the missile silo, killing two of the pillagers. Definitely a good move there. That's 14, uh, 1400 metal on his part that he lost, this guy, versus the 600 that he paid for the missile, so... Yeah, that's more than double the cost of the missiles, so that's very, very good. Yeah, this team really, uh, they should, yeah, okay, yeah, they're starting to surrender, yeah. Jared, he went ahead and dropped out there. Got our missile going out. That one was completely wasted. Got a bombing run coming in here. Took out the commander. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to have to do one of two things now. They're either going to have to completely destroy them, which they should really hop to because they have a massive army over here, or they're just going to have to uh, convince them that they should resign. Yep, that's what they did. They resigned. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.